Hey guys, we got something special here for, well, you. <laughs> well, this isn't exactly special, this is just something that I downloaded and thought I'd have a little fun with. Uh, this is Chocobo Racing. <laughs> yeah, Square actually made a racing game based on their beloved Chocobos, which is kind of understandable. I suppose everybody loves Chocobos. <laughs> and, uh... Well, it's not the longest game I've ever played. It is actually quite fun. Uh, I don't know why, but I've, I've enjoyed playing this. And usually I don't really enjoy racing games, because, well, I suck at them. But uh, this one I was alright with. Although that last level, Jesus Christ, that one drove me up the wall the first time I got to it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That happens from time to time, so uh, I thought I'd go through story mode and uh, show it off a little. Except the first level, which is essentially you racing against yourself around a track for heart for uh, about a minute and a half. No point to it, but this is the first proper race, so I thought I'd show it. And uh, since I can't play as anyone else at the moment, I was playing as Chocobo! <laughs> a little Chocobo on skates, even though I swear a Chocobo should be able to run faster, faster than a skate. Thing. Almost feels like they're trying to help it. Is it, is it. It makes you wonder if this Chocobo is like crippled or something. Now I've already gone through the story mode before so uh, I'm not actually going to show the story because I'm just going to skip through it. Uh, do you want to continue playing story mode? Yes. Do you want to continue? Uh, want to read the story? No. And there's about nine races I believe. Each going more difficult than the last sometimes, it really depends. And uh, I like how this game works, it's, it's a very Mario Kart-esque sort of game, and uh, I'm not exactly a Mario player, I don't, I don't really play Mario games. Uh, they kind of overkilled Mario if you ask me, way too many of the freaking games. Uh, what else? Yeah, the Mario Kart thing, like, you got all your separate magics that help you out during the race. Like, uh, I've got fire attached to me here. I grab this one, I've got fire up, which will automatically home in on the target. You've also got your ice, your lightning, your, uh, da -da -da, what else was it? Mini, Doom, Ultima, stuff like that. Yeah. Just to help you out during the, the race. And uh, I've just noticed that this is another Final Fantasy video, uh, essentially video. This is based on the Final Fantasy series, after all. Um, what else? I know there's another barrier. There's barrier. I forgot about barrier. And uh, each character has their own respective abilities that you can obviously uh, use if you need them. Like uh, mine's dash, so I get a speed boost for a few seconds. So that really helps me out, I suppose, in those sticky situations. <laughs> sticky situation. I like to think I've learnt a few things from playing through this like twice. I, I think because I can't save that I'm missing out on this character that I wanted to unlock in this to show off in my All Lucky 7's edition of uh, Final Fantasy 7. But uh, that's the first time I think I've ever managed Fire Ago. Not that it matters. Because I cannot seem to fight Squall that you fight after completing the story mode twice. So, uh, don't know what's up with that, but it doesn't matter. So, next race, we now unlock the big guy and his ability of grip, but I don't use anything but dash until the last level. I don't really find any point to mobs, as there isn't really much in the way of sticky terrain or bad terrain. But yeah, I found, I found this game quite easy until it hits the last level, in which case it hits, like, rock-hard difficulty for some reason. Or the, the level before that was sometimes quite difficult as well, but I, I've kind of learned how to do that one. I didn't even have a ball, you moron. Magic stone, that's one. Ha ha! Tricky passages. Ooh, and I think I might have uh, screwed myself over a little there with... Uh, Hitting the walls a few times. Which means he can probably. Ah, dash, no more. 
I really hate that goddamn goblin as well. His mug ability really annoys me. Like, in the last mission, sometimes when I get uh, Ultima, he'll instantly snatch it away from me, and I'll just be like, you mother. Mm. Yeah, as I said, I've played through this a few times, so I know the tricks and stuff, so it's not really all that difficult now. I've gotten through that passageway a few good... Uh, many times without fucking up, so... I don't know why I keep screwing up here. I'd also like to know how he hit me with the, the bulk standard fire from around the corner. See, that's his mug ability, and that really annoys me. Luckily, I didn't really need that one. Being in first and all. I've just got to take this corner well. Ah, screwed up again. Can I get... Yeah, got through here just... Now, I've been screwed over on this mission, like, right at the end. It's really annoying. And on the last one. Some enemies' abilities also hinder you by knocking you about a bit. Like, uh, Bahamut's and the Behemoth guy. Now, I believe this is the part where we meet my favourite character. Who I will switch out for Chocobo. Yay! As soon as I saw this guy, I was like, dude, I am being him. I don't care what anyone says, he is my new character. I failed on this mission quite a few times as well. I have to say that this mission does... The mission? This game doesn't have very, like, very lots of good music. Like some of the other games do. Well, most of the Final Fantasies have at least... In fact, I can't think of one Final Fantasy that I haven't had one good song for. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's usually one song I really do like. Son of a bitch. Who hit me with that? I will murder you. Murder you. Told you. Come at me, bros. You're so far behind. Damn it. You had to do it, didn't you? You just had to do that when I said that, didn't you? I was about to call them free. Damn goblin, I was going to use that. Well, I got another one anyway. I think I've gotten myself a fair lead. Yeah, screw you, goblin. Get back in last. Okay, now I'm a mile ahead. This this level's free now. Don't fall on me, don't fall on me. The amount of times that's fallen on me when I've been in first place and a mile ahead. And it's just made my lead, like, dwindle to nothing. Speed ahead, Chocobo! Now, if that doesn't secure me the victory, I don't know what will. Yeah, I win. I could have fallen off the side there and still won. <laughs> ah, feels good, man. Victory always tastes so sweet. Oh, that could be the Pepsi I'm drinking. I don't know why I'm drinking Pepsi. I prefer Coke. Oh, my main man, let's do this! Come on, BM, let's kick some ass. Yeah, this is a new mage you get here, White Mage. I tend to find that the character you're fighting usually gets a speed boost, but she doesn't seem to in this. She's, like, really slow. Same with the 8th level. The one you've on there isn't exactly all that fast. Now, Mini can be really annoying. I've never... Uh, apparently, if you get Mini three times, you can be squished, but I've never been squished. I've been Mini three times, but never squished. Brutal murder in a Final Fantasy game. It could happen. I'd love to be able to float around on a cloud. Can you imagine racing? Get, get into a racetrack. 
And everyone else was using their fancy cars, and they're just like, Yo, what are you driving? McLeod. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, bro, I'm serious. And then you just beat their asses, and it's just like, Oh, never underestimate your cloud again, man. I know. You never will. Or literally floating on cloud. Can you imagine that? Just skateboarding down a hill on, on cloud stride. That, that would be amusing as fuck. Somebody draw it! Oh, Victory's essentially mine. The, these middle levels are just so free. I don't get why. I don't know why I'm bringing fighting terms into a racing game either. Maybe it's because I've been watching too much of those Assist Me videos. Even though I don't even play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ah, my nose is itchy and I can't take my finger off the trigger. Just for a second! Victory! Damn it! Oh well, at least this gives me a chance to scratch my nose properly. Ah, somebody's catching up to me. No, get away! Stay away, criminal scum! Victory! Who's in last? The rock guy. Figures the first guy you get would be last. He's not very good. My nose keeps itching. No, put me on the Magic Claire part Mark 1, damn it. I don't want to play as the friggin' Chocobo. Not anymore, anyway. Now that I have the best character in the friggin' game. I mean, look at him, he's so styling. He styles on everyone. Did I just lightning bolt myself? Ah! What the hell? So you feel the power of my dash! Suck it down, noobs. Last to first in 0.5 seconds. In fact, somebody's probably going to calculate that and be all like, No, Avery, it was not 0.5 seconds, it was 1.35 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, guys, I'm so far ahead of you, I feel like I'm like in another plane of existence. I've always wondered why that one is over there. I'm wondering if that's a secret passage or something. I should, like, test that. I don't know why I even use Dash. I may as well use something completely redundant, because I don't really need it in these levels. These guys are just crap. I don't know what it is. They can take corners perfectly, and yet I still manage to take the lead and easily start winning. I've noticed so far that I have not seen any, like, offensive powers for quite a while now. Probably should have chosen a better place to use that. But, it does not matter, for I'm so far in the lead that uh, the only way I could lose now is if they constantly hit me with those bolt throughs. Which is unlikely to happen. Nah, spin out, Chocobo. I just put the guy in second, right back into last. Good thing I got my dash there, because I was mini to fuck. I'm so small, where am I? Oh, there I am. I wonder if the, if the Black Mage uh, suddenly had a really squeaky voice after that. Come on guys, where are you? I, I feel like I'm alone on this track. I'm so wrongly, oh so wrongly. I probably shouldn't start singing that on a video that any different culture could watch. Hmm. Apologies if anyone was offended by that, but, uh, eh, who cares? Stuff like that happens every day. And really, I was only insulting that guy, King Jong Il, who died, I think. Did he die? Yes, he died. Woo. 
Alright, I think this is the second to last mission, possibly? I don't know. Go! Out of my way! I'm not sure what kind of pet name I could give her. Dollface? Yeah, Dollface will do. Out of my way, Dollface! I'll whack ya! Spatula. This mission drove me up the wall as well. I kept falling off the edge. Hip! Chew! Sorry about that. As I said, my nose keeps tickling and I don't know why. These walls are irritating as. you know. Ah! Strange how it goes from the land of fairies and cakes and stuff suddenly into the world of a volcano, ash, and like brimstone. Okay, really, I have not screwed up yet. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. I have got no dash this time, so I must slowly ride along. Taking these corners with such concentration, the young man races for the, to stay in the lead without bouncing up these walls, which he fails completely at. Haste is always nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention haste. The fir first one you get, and I forgot to mention it. Yeah, that was one of the other stones that I missed. I believe this game came out somewhere between FF7 and FF8. I've never been hit by them. And this is where on the on the very last lap, one of them will squat will just squash me. Ha! Missed! Fail! Deal with it. See, these guys can't touch me. I'm, j I'm just so godlike at this. Probably not the best player in the world. There's probably people that can just whiz through these tracks blindfolded. But, uh, yeah. From what I heard, this game wasn't all that popular. But I kind of enjoyed it. I mean, it's not the best racing game I've ever played, but... Hell, I have weird opinions. Your mini cannot stop me. I am too far in the lead to be stopped now. And with Dash, all hope for your for any victory against me has now been lost. Nah, ah, ah, ah. That my prediction almost came true then. My prediction almost came true. And now for the mission that drives me so far up the wall, I may as well be on the ceiling. Show them how it's done. I don't know why I bothered with that. Last time I did, th did this mission, I did this alright without that. And this level introduces probably the best... Well, definitely the best magic stone in the in the entire game. And I've been doomed. Christ. Five seconds in and I've already been doomed. That does not bode well for me. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Doom. Hate you, Doom. Chocobo suddenly becomes godlike on this last level. He always seems to be in either first or second. Give me that. Little bastard. Eat Ultima. And I have haste, so get out my way. Ah, oh, damn you, Bahamut. That happened to me once on the very last stretch of the level, and I lost because of it. Give me that. Give me that. A bitch, I want it. Damn it. I fell off the edge because I was too busy trying to get his, his stone. Yeah, if you bash into the back of the opponent, you'll get their stone, just like I did with Chocobo. But Bahamut seems very dodgy. Oh, I got one anyway. Don't know how I got that, but I did. Ah, 
Now, I just cannot touch Chocobo, otherwise he's going to pass Doom onto me, which means I get doomed by my own Doomstone, which would be suckish. Damn it, Bahamut. I think that's why they made Bahamut so slow, due to, uh, well, that. Because that, that move is really overpowered. It's like an Ultima 3. And Ultima 3 is bad enough as it is. Not even Barrier can save you from it either. Looking at that Barrier. I think I just spun Bahamut out again. I do enjoy that. The problem with this mission is, the imp is that sometimes you'll just get ultima time after time after time. If you look in the walls, you can actually see summons. I just saw Ifrit there, which I never noticed before. I think I just saw Ifrit again, but that might have been somewhere else. The fire thing's there. But if that wasn't plainly obvious, then you need to get your eyes checked. <sighs> see what I mean? Good thing I have Ultima myself, so I can do it back to them. What? What the hell? Did I just get hit by my own Ultima? Damn it, my own spells are against me. <laughs> I'm the worst magician ever. I really do prefer going for those ones unless I, unless I really need something in particular. In which case I'll go for it if it appears. Now at this rate, I might actually complete this first time. Never mind, I think Bahamut just screwed me over. No, 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 I might be fine. He got screwed over at the same time. I was going for that magic stone, but I always seem to miss it. Don't you mini me, you sons of bitches. Stop that! I swear to god, I will murder all of you if you do that again. And that's that. That wasn't so bad. And for the lengthy ending credits. Which are really annoying, because I've never watched them at this pace before and they were still very long. So screw it, I'm just going to skip them and uh, I'll show what happens after. I still don't get that golem. <clears throat> this better be good, because I didn't lose once there. That's only four more than my last one. I'm disappointed. Hmm. Not that it matters. <laughs> All speed all the time! Ugh. A little bit of drift. Lots of grip. But I mean, not that it matters because I'm. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he will be called Oak Mill. But I have no memory card because this is an emulator and my memory cards don't seem to want to work. And for some strange reason, I can't fight Squall because of it. So, yeah. But that's that. Uh, Chocobo Racing. Quite a fun little game. Uh, if a little short. But I suppose racing games usually are. So, yeah, that's all from this. Uh, I've been out. Peace.